All right, guys, let's give away some overmolded M24 stick grenades. If you want the chance to win some of these, all you have to do, like the video, comment down below, and make sure you guys are subscribed. I'll give away a couple of these in next week's episode. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Building the Battle of Bulge in LEGO. In this week's episode, we're going to be working on this right here. The goal is to get this completely done, get all of this detailing up front, and then getting a nice solid plate on top here. Like I said in the last week's episode, I'm not too sure yet what color I want to do up top, if I want to go with white, if I want to go with dark bluish gray, but we'll figure that out towards the end of this episode. For now, I'm going to be taking a lot of these 2x4s you see here that are stacked up, breaking them apart, and then attaching them all the way down and around here. So once we're done with that, we'll come back in with a bunch of these slopes and we'll kind of blend it and make it look more like an actual like mountain or a cliff. And once we get that done, then we can start adding the plates on in the back. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this right now. All right guys, so this is what I've got working so far on the mock. We've got pretty much all from here down to about there. It's actually almost done on this far side here, if we get that to focus. I'm just working on mainly this back edge and this kind of transition section right here. And then what I'm also working on is right now, I'm filling in this last little bit of the gap with as many of these dark bluish gray plates that I can find. And uh, it should be going pretty well here. I just gotta put some more like right here. And then I'm probably gonna take, I have a lot of four by four plates that I'm probably gonna cover all of this white up with. And um, it's just gonna go from there. And I'm thinking, since this shouldn't take me that much longer, well, let's see, back up. Once this is done, I do have to finish the rock work there, but I might start working on doing the actual layout of this next one. You know, like I've been doing with this, I'm probably gonna use two by fours here and actually do the layout work instead of doing these um, larger slopes. But uh, I think that's a good spot to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Then I'm gonna start working on that and I'll come back to you guys. All right guys, this is what I've got so far. I haven't been able to find small enough plates. I need like a two by three right there. A couple, um, let's see, actually a one by three on that edge. And then some other small plates there. So for the time being, I'm going to put the tank casually over one of those spots, but it does look okay because obviously there will be some snow patches eventually. And then basically all of this I've got plated over. I need to push some of these down a little bit better, but all these are pretty much four by four plates. And then over here, there's a little bit here. I don't really think I'm gonna need to elevate that. I might do a little bit of um, filling in there, but I'm not too sure yet. But for the most part, this front section is pretty much done and it looks really good, really happy with it. So I think we can start to kind of move on. I still need to do a little bit over here and on this end, but overall, I'm really happy with how it looks. You know, we can add this tank kind of where it would be sitting right there. I think that looks really good. I might have to remove a couple of these pieces here just to open that up a little bit more. Maybe like that one, maybe this one too. Um, I talked about, I think it was in last week's episode, I want enough room so we can have figures kind of marching on both sides of the tank there. So that is one thing that I might change. One thing I just thought of actually, so with, for the figures, especially the Americans, I'm going to be doing um, something similar to this. And I'm curious, do you guys want me to sell some trench coats? And if you do, feel free to drop a, actually I'll do a poll. So up here in the poll, it's just gonna be, do you want me to sell trench coats, yes or no? They'll probably be $2 a piece, maybe $3, I'm not too sure yet. I have to figure out how much it costs me to get them. But uh, I think it'd be really cool to sell these because a lot of you guys are going to be probably building similar builds, especially if you're into the Battle of the Bulge. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. It's just something. And then maybe even selling the rubber bands to kind of make scarves. I think that's a cool little detail. So I'm starting to kind of think about minifigures. So feel free to drop me any comments down below as far as what you guys think I should do. You've probably been seeing this is the thumbnail from last week's episode. This is just kind of how I do thumbnails. Really, it's just a quick and dirty, you know, little scene here with some barbed wire, some shells, and then some German soldiers that are dead. And uh, it looks pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to do for this week's episode. 
quite yet. Um, <clears throat> I found that building little scenes like this, people like that more than like pictures of vehicles. So I'm gonna have to think of something. Here you can actually see I'm using another rubber band for a scarf on that tank guy there. So I don't know, something to think about. Let me know in that poll. Do you guys want trench coats? Yes or no? And uh, yeah, so I'm going to probably, let's see, what am I gonna do? I might add some more slopes to some of these sections here. Like right here, I don't like how that looks. I like it where it's more filled in like this kind of area. I don't like seeing a whole lot of these studs in these rows if I can avoid that. So I'm gonna do that. Same with on the end. And then I don't know if I'm gonna get to working on this in this week's episode. If anything, I'll probably remove all of those remove those plates and probably put down two by fours instead of those just so I have a kind of perimeter. So I'm probably gonna do that next. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to that. Let's just go for it right now. Okay, so what you probably saw in the last time lapse was I took all of the white plates and the slopes off and I kind of started putting up a rough guess of what I want for the kind of the base of the mountain, you know, the outline of the mountain or the cliff. And this one's gonna be a lot taller. So I guess actually, now that I think about that, I might have to move all of this forward a little bit because like I showed in the last couple videos, you know, the taller you build, the further back you need to support it. And since this needs to be at least a brick, well, actually, no, it needs to be three bricks taller than this one, if not maybe four, just to make it look better. So that means the actual mountain's probably not going to be till here. So that's not a lot of space on the top of the mountain. So if we move this forward, that'll gain us a little bit more space. So I might move these forward, I don't know, four studs, five studs, something like that. And I just don't know what I want to do on this end down here. I just, I've been thinking about it and I just don't know if I want to just maybe continue this like all the way there and have this whole back kind of left corner or back edge be a mountain. You know, I definitely want to do it like this because like I said, I think it's really cool to have like a cool kind of ravine that the tank can be driving through. I think that's cool, but I'm not too sure what I want to do down here. So if anyone has any suggestions, drop them in the comments. I'm open to them and I'm hoping in next week's episode we can get the feedback for that and I can really start rocking and rolling. But I also figured might as well take these large plates off. So these, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna basically elevate these up here and then basically fill in the gap with rock and, or rock structure, it's not actually rock, obviously, but basically elevate these up and it's just much easier to work with because less little plates and these are just big plates and they're strong and sturdy and easy to build. So quick and easy, that's kind of the name of the game here. So that's kind of the goal, at least for now. And I'm trying to figure out um, what else I wanna do with these because obviously I don't think I just want them to be just kind of cliffs like this. But on the flip side, you take a step back just from what we have so far, this is looking pretty good. You know, you take a step back, it looks pretty awesome. So I'm pretty happy with that. Make sure you guys leave a like if you like the way this is looking. It's gonna look really cool. I think once we get the mountain on this back section, that's gonna make it look really good. But then the second we start adding color, like trees, and then obviously the buildings are gonna add color, and then eventually the figures, you know, having dark tan and dark blue gray figures all over, breaking up the white, that's gonna really make this mock pop. And I'm really excited for that. So, you know, this is episode seven. I'm guessing, I'm thinking this is gonna be like a 20 week series, because I'm thinking another week or two to do this. And then once those are done, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, we'll, we might add some details here and there, but then it's going to be straight into buildings. And then each building, maybe a week, and then trees, and then figures, maybe even sooner. So I don't know, this might be like the halfway point for this mock series. I really don't know. You kind of just feel it out depending on how quickly I can get parts and whatnot that all, you know, affects things. But I think for right now, we're doing pretty good. So I'm going to keep working on it and we'll come back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pick the winner from the last week's episode. 
Let's just keep scrolling down here. Since I'm holding my phone and I'm scrolling with one hand, um, normally I set up my camera on a tripod, so we're just gonna go, actually we'll just use my mouse, the cursor there. So let's just keep going and stop. Boom, Griffin Mazo, nice. It's looking great so far. Well, guess what, Griffin? You're the winner from last week's episode. Shoot me an email through my website, bricktactical.com. I can get that prize sent out to you. All right, guys, let's wrap things up. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this week's episode seven of Building the Battle of the Bulge and Lego. I'm really stoked with how this is looking out. You know, you take a step back and it's really starting to look like a mock. One, like I said, I think once we get this done, it's really gonna look good, especially once I clean up all this random stuff, get these bins out of the way, and then we start laying out foundations for the buildings. I'm really excited. I have really high hopes for this mock. I think it's gonna look awesome, and I can't wait to show you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know what you guys think of this mountain here. Let me know what you guys think I should do kind of back here for this transition and what I should do for maybe this mountain back there. Obviously, it's going to be taller than this one just to make it look different, have some height variation. And then also make sure you guys take that poll. Would you guys be interested if I made or at least got some, maybe another company makes these and I can get a hold of some of them and sell them on my website. And same goes with the rubber bands. So let me know what you guys think of all that in the comments down below. Once again, thank you guys for all the support lately on the channel. We're almost to, by the time this video goes up, we're probably gonna be at 82,000 subscribers. So we're 18,000 away from hitting my dream goal of 100,000. So if you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button, tell a friend about the channel. If we can all have someone do that, then we could get to 100,000 in no time. So once again, thank you so much, guys. Stay safe. Check out last week's episode right here. Check out the full playlist right there. And like I said, subscribe right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. See you next time.